This is the Verpal Mongoose T50 CM2 uh, base attachment. Um, it doesn't require any supports. Print it with the front face down. There will be a little bit of stringing inside of the holes. So the five millimeter holes that go into here will need to be cleared. Okay, once you've got the bolts through, you can see these are the stock screws, or the stock bolts that come with the Verpal, um, which is why I'm recommending getting a longer one. The threads are, are quite deep inside the base unit, and it makes sense to use something that can actually use all the threads. I printed this with a two millimeter uh, top and bottom and with uh, six or seven perimeter walls so it can be tightened very tightly without any issues. I've threaded the center section of the 4040 piece so this can attach from the top as well as from both sides. Okay, the, um, the top bolt going into the threaded uh, hole in the top of the profile is the first piece that you want to put in because the uh, other holes will bolt into any, any point on the, uh, the sides of the profile, but this needs to be snugged to the very top of the profile piece so that you have a nice solid connection. Then we're ready to put in the side bolts. There's two, two in the front and two in the side. Those are M8 by 16 millimeters beveled bolts in there, and that's in M8 uh, by 16 um, socket head bolt there, and these should be M5 um, by 30 millimeter, not the 20s that are in here, um, socket head bolts in there. And that gives you a very solid connection. Excuse the... Uh, electrician's tape. Uh, like many other people, I've had to re-solder um, the connectors on here. Uh, but this is made to fit in the side here. Um, this has a, a cable guide to uh, hold the USB cable in place so you don't stress the connector here. I've uh, also added a cosmetic uh, plate down here just for appearances and uh, printed a profile end cap with room for the guide. Uh, since I made the video showing how to put all the flight controls together, uh, I've added a guide that uh, greatly improves uh, setup time. Here you can see the, uh, the guide to help get the stick in place quicker. You can see how it locks in place much, much more easily and quickly, and the alignment of the bolts is much better now. So um, that's that's my latest update to the flight stick.